All right, Roger, we're going to start on the outside on, by the driveway. Look at that. Okay, well, when in Rome, we'll act like a plumber. We'll do as the plumbers do. You can see in this ditch here where I dug out the pipes real good. And over on the left side, the green one is the communications line and the, the two-incher is the water line. Underneath the water line is the drainage that was put in by, by Jonah and his guys. And you can see there was a T over here for the two-incher, but it's going to be removed so a cutoff can be put in right over, over there. Now here's the hole. Uh, that I dug out. You can see this is all very solid rock and some brick and some more very solid rock. And the only way I was able to get through it were with long masonry drill bits and uh, my three foot crowbar and uh, sledgehammer. You can see the the string line I put on there in there. And I'll see if I can get a get a view down the run for you. Hmm, looky there. But you can see I've got this very well covered up because it's been actually been doing a good little bit of raining. Nothing real heavy but just nearly every day. That's just to keep the wind from blowing the plastic up. See, it's real well covered up. Okay, on the inside, I'm I'm facing north, and you can see some of the structure that I put in here. Uh, there's the hole I just showed you from the outside. This horizontal piece can be removed when we easily. You see the screws right there. Or when we put the pipe in it might be in the way just for installation but the pipe should be well below it and i don't know how well you can see this string line and there goes the train but the string line runs down the middle of it plenty of room right there it's about gee almost eight inches above the lumber right down the center and uh you see this structure that I built on either end of the uh, adobe beam foundation. That's basically to keep the, the adobe from moving or pushing outward. I may actually embed a little bit of, of, uh, of Cubon just to help hold it in place to make sure that the beams don't spread. Now, it's a little dark in here, I realize that, and it's certainly a mess. Uh, I'm facing east again. You can see this structure here. What I did is I put this all the way down to the bottom for extra support, plus the idea is to keep these uh, joists from twisting. Any kind of twisting would be uh, on the way to collapse so I made sure and also by putting that 2 by 8 in the bottom and these other 2 by 4s there's no way it can move solidly screwed into the joists and everywhere else to keep them from twisting uh, I did the same thing on this other center one there's a 2 by 8 at the bottom and 2 by 8s on each side all of these structures that uh, are open at the top that support the adobe are going to be capped that's why I made them all the same height so that I can run this 2x6 or even in this case a pair of 2x6's on top of there to finish out along with the along with the bottom piece it will finish out and make a box which will be ex very strong so I'll probably put some horizontal pieces in, screw them into the boards there just to make sure there's no possibility of twisting or movement. On this last one, 
on this beam that's just barely there. You can barely see it. Uh, this 4x4 that was put in was terminated for some reason there and at the same place on the other end so I put these screwed these 2x4s in just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere and I anchored it with screws on both sides of the bottom of the 2x4 as you can see I'll zoom in a little bit and you can see you can see it's screwed in at the bottom there and screwed in at the top of the 4x4 there so I did it alternately so that it's real well pounded also here <clears throat> here you'll see that I put in a 2x8 support next to this one couldn't put it there because the pipe's going there but this is because this end, the end of this joist was twisting and I had to put a stop to that. So I may put a couple of those in around various places in this line uh, just to make sure there's no twist. You can also see here I did tear up the bottom of this cabinet. Of course we're going to, these shelves, we're going to replace them anyway so I wasn't worried about it. And there is a, a thick... A thick layer of cement just under the on top of the adobe beam and just under the under the uh, shelf system for some reason about oh about two to two and a half inches thick and it went all the way across and I had to bust break it out of there because it uh, we needed the height plus I got a sink drain going up through there so uh, there you have it That's the ditch. Took a good little bit of work to get all that done, but I'm very confident. And uh, you know, I wanted to make sure that when I did this, that the the longevity of of uh, uh, terminating these, you know, by terminating these beams, I wanted to make sure that there was plenty of support, so that there wouldn't be any movement or you know spreading or falling apart of the adobe blocks or any of that sort of stuff. And I'm pretty confident that got done.